How's it going YouTube? Welcome to the Crypto Gorilla. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on the basics of KuCoin. I'm also going to be giving away 500 Bitcoins on July 31st. So if you want to find out how to qualify for the giveaway, be sure to stay until the end of the video, or you can use the timestamps to just fast forward and I'll never know. So here we are on KuCoin.com. If you don't already have an account, be sure to use the referral link in the description down below. But since I already have an account, I will not be doing the signup process, but it's fairly simple. You just put your email, password, all the usual stuff. Once your account is created, you're going to land on this page, the dashboard. So the main accounts you're going to use are going to be the main account, which is just where you hold your crypto. Let's say you want to hold longer term. And then the trading account is where you're going to make all your trades from. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is deposit funds into our account. And to do that, I'm going to click deposit. I'm going to select a cryptocurrency I want to deposit. So I'm going to pick XRP. You get a little warning saying, hey, you need to use a tag. I'm going to do accept. You get another notification, accept, and then they tell you the wallet and the tag where you need to send your funds. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Newton, but if you wanna send XRP, because the fees are much lower than Bitcoin, Bitcoin might cost you anywhere from 15 to $25. XRP is gonna cost you a fraction of a penny, or depending on the exchange, it might cost you up to 10 cents but it is much cheaper and I highly recommend using it. You can also use Stellar, but I prefer using XRP. And to do that, I'm gonna be using Newton. If you're in Canada, you can also use Coinberry and Netcoins. And I have tutorials for all of these exchanges. So check out my videos if you need help with any of them and be sure to use my referral links and you will get free money when you make your first purchase. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna do withdraw, crypto to wallet. Here, make sure you've selected XRP. I'm gonna click max. So now we need the address. Get the address here. It starts with our end and it ends with KB. Paste starts with our end, ends with KB, perfect. Let's grab the tag, 18 ends in 48. Paste, 18 ends in 48, great. I'm gonna do with review withdraw. Click draw XRP and voila, success. Your transfer is underway. And then you go, it took 20 seconds, maybe 30. You get a little notification. You get a notification up here. You have received XRP. And if we hit F5, refresh the page, you can see in my main account, I now have 31.75 XRP. So in order to trade, we are gonna have to transfer the funds from our main account to our trading account. So let's click transfer. Make sure here it's main account to trading account. Select the coin you wanna trade or transfer. I'm gonna click XRP. And then you can manually put an amount, you can use these arrows, but if you click right here, it'll fill in the max amount for you. I'm gonna do confirm. And there you go, it is now in my trading account. So next we're gonna learn how to sell our XRP, that way we could buy another cryptocurrency. So to do that, you can either go to markets, you can click trade. Let's first do markets just to check out the market page. So up here is where you can select the different trading pairs. You can use Bitcoin, you can use altcoins, things that trade for ETH, things that trade for Tron, all. Let's just go to USD, and here I'm gonna pick USDT, and then I'm gonna search XRP, and trade XRP for USDT, because the coin I'm gonna be buying is XDC, but you can't trade XRP for XDC. So I have to sell my XRP for USDT, Tether, and then I'm gonna use Tether to buy XDC. Let's go ahead and click that. And we've now landed on the trading page. So if it's your first time using KuCoin, you're gonna have to set a password down here. Every time you log in and wanna trade as an extra measure of security, you're gonna have to set a password. I've already done that, so mine is already unlocked. And as we said, we're gonna be selling our XRP into USDT. So you have two options. You can use limit, which is where you set a specific price and it will not trigger that order until the price is met. I'm gonna be using market for this tutorial, which just means you accept whatever the going price is for the asset you are trying to sell, and it will be executed immediately. So once again, you can manually put an amount, you can use the arrows, but I'm just gonna click 100%. You can toggle different percentages, 100, and it will sell 100% of my XRP. Let's click it. You get a little notification on top saying the transaction was successful. Let's go back to assets just to double check, click trading, and now I have 20.7 USDT. Great. So now we're back on the trading page because we want to buy a cryptocurrency. And instead of going to market and searching for the crypto we want to find, we're just going to click this drop down here. And then you could type in a trading pair that you're looking for. And with XDC, you can see there are two options. I can either trade it for USDT 
or ETH. We own USDT, so this is the pair we're going to use. And once again, I'm gonna click market because I accept whatever the current market price is. And then it's just like when you're selling, you can manually put an amount. I'm gonna click 100 to buy XDC. Our transaction went through. And now to go verify this, I'm just gonna go into my trading account. And you can see I now have 197 XDC coins. So the final thing we're gonna be learning is how to withdraw our crypto from KuCoin. So to do that on the assets page, I'm gonna click withdraw. Then I'm gonna select a currency. Here, once again, you get the message and tag for XRP, cool. And now we need the address and the tag. I'm gonna go over in Newton. Here I'm in Newton. I'm gonna do add funds, then crypto from wallet. Click I understand, I need to use a tag. So this starts with RU, ends in HS. Paste, RU, HS, cool. Next, a tag, 67 ends in 50. Paste the tag, 67 ends in 50. Now, how much do I want to draw? I'm gonna click max, click that here. No remark, I'm gonna do confirm. And the withdraw is successful, as you can see up here. Let's go have a look in our Newton account. And voila, our money is now in our Newton account. And that does it for today's tutorial on KuCoin. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to win 500 VeChain coins, so VET coins, that I'm gonna be giving away on July 31st, you have to do four things. It's all gonna be in the description down below, but essentially you have to subscribe to my channel, comment your Twitter handle in the comments down below, follow me on Twitter, and retweet my pinned tweet, which once again is in the description down below. And while you could only comment one comment per video, you can comment on multiple videos where I mention the giveaway, and this will increase your chances of winning. So good luck to everybody. I hope you participate in the giveaway. And if you don't win, don't worry. I plan on doing a ton more. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below, and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.